Hi everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we've got this Sears Kenmore countertop water purifier. 423444. Um, there's that. We're going to check this out and see if it works. I'm going to do some tests with the water st straight out of the tap. We're going to check it and check with a couple different things then we're going to try this out so there's one quart it takes one hour and 35 minutes two quarts is three hours and five minutes three quarts is four hours 35 minutes max fill line four quarts which is a gallon will take six hours and five minutes okay and this is how much bottle water is costing you now? I don't know how old this thing is, so um, as the water temperature rises in the light, gases boil off and are discharged through the van. Tap water is heated to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, killing bacteria present in the water. So, okay, I'm gonna read that up, read up on that. We'll get some tests going here, and, um, oops, right. anyway, in my last video, <laughs> there's the story about where this came from and how I got it, so, uh, let's check some water, let's do some tests on some water first, and then, um, we'll, uh, we'll get this out, we'll plug it in, and we'll let it run through, we'll do a quart. We'll do a taste test too to see which one tastes better. I know you guys can't taste it, but we'll see. So stick around. Cue the intro. Let's see if this thing works like it's supposed to. Okay, guys. So we've got some water right out of the tap. We're going to check the hardness level now. I don't think these get out the hard water and besides we do have a pretty new water softener in but we're going to check it anyway we're going to check it with this the readings on this should be um, when I dip this in here between 50 and 150 and for fun we've got this unopened drinking water here we're going to see the difference in it Let's see where you at okay so we're gonna do this and turn it on I'm gonna put this down in here just like this I should hit the whole button okay 173 not bad 50 to 50 to 150 is excellent and I've got the chart brought up here <clears throat> for drinking 150 to 250 is good and then up from there goes to fair and then pour um, so we're pretty good there um, so yeah 173 shut that off now I'm gonna leave this out because I want that to dry off now let's check the hardness. Like I said, I don't think these purifiers do anything with the hardness. So we're going to put one of these in here. And we're going to check it. We hold it in here for two seconds. 1001, 1002. And then we hold it horizontally for 15 seconds. And we check the chart. So... And it's good up to 30 seconds. So let's check it. We are right at zero hardness. Right at zero hardness. So, yeah, that's 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 pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to move this. So right after a hurricane when we had all that rain and stuff, um, 173 is pretty darn good for, you know, drinking because you know it's well water so let's go ahead we're going to dump this in here we'll 
we're going to turn this on. Okay, it did zero back out, so we're going to stick this in here. And we're going to hold. And it's on 013. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it is 013. Let's try that again. Press hold. Now it's 015. So <clears throat> that's pretty good. But this is, you know, you, you know, I mean, it's purified. Let that dry off. Now we're going to check the hardness level, and it should be zero as well. Or I would hope, anyway. One thousand one, one thousand two, and it's pretty good. Yes, zero. Good. Now, so our water system's pretty good. Um, so let's move this out of the way, and then I'll back you up. We're going to take this out. I'm going to set it here on this chair. We're going to take it out. We're going to. I'll just do it right here. We're going to plug it in. We're going to put some water in it. I'm going to put one quart in because, you know, that's an hour and 35 minutes. It's already 836 at night. So let me get this ready and it's pulled out. We'll clean it off. Well, I won't bore you with that, um, but we'll clean it. We'll wash it. <clears throat> this has never been used and I don't believe the uh, air purifier has ever been used either. So, um, so let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's get this off of here. Don't know what that's for. This. Oh, this is the top. Like I said, I'll clean that out. It is dusty. It's been in the guy's garage for since probably 1932. <laughs> but this has a booklet with it so that's good because the air purifier didn't Sheesh. agreement looks like yeah so all right now I'm gonna clean this off oh cool I didn't know it came with this so that's cool let me get this washed up get this cleaned off here that's some styrofoam where it's stuck to the styrofoam. That's your reset button. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, yeah, I do. It's for the top thing. Okay, let me read this out and get this cleaned off, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so what these things are for, <clears throat> it's like a filter. You just put that in there like that, and this. clips in there like that there's where the water comes out and this gets plugged in down here just like that and then it will get plugged in so now 
Let's go ahead and take this off. I used that on the outside. So, it cleaned up really nice. See, there's your little instructions there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna check this water again. So I'm gonna put 16, 16 is 32, so that's one quart. So I'm gonna put one quart in here. Let me grab some more water. So that is one quart right there. Now, this, this essentially is a water still. Now I've made them before just for fun, but for survival situations, you know, what you do is you boil water and technically what you should do when you boil the water, if you can catch the steam, that's exactly what's purified. Uh, you catch the steam and then you make it come down and as it cools, it condenses and that's what you give you your water. That's, that's what this does. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here like that. We want to get our little and we're going to test this water again too to see if purifying it makes any difference out of our our sink, you know, out of our tap water. So let me make sure I got this right. It looks like it. So, and then uh, we're going to plug this in. Shoot. Um, got my cookie here for later. Monkey always buys me one of these big, giant, soft chocolate chip cookies. So, last one I forgot about for like three days. And I was craving a cookie. Okay, now we're going to plug this in. And it automatically takes off. It does have a reset button on this side. But we're going to let this run for an hour and 35 minutes. And then we'll check the water that comes out of here. We're going to taste it and see what it tastes like. I did taste the water out of the tap. It tastes fine. But so we're going to let this thing do its thing. And I'll be back with you guys. It'll just be a second for you, but uh, for me, it's going to be an hour and a half. Okay, guys, so it's done. It shuts off on its own. And the water coming out of here is not hot at all. It's kind of cool. I mean temperature wise um, what this does is it gets the the water hot 212 degrees boiling and the steam it sucks the steam up in here and it goes around an evaporator or condenser what it does is it condenses it back into a liquid and it comes out here and that's what purifies uh, the water now like if you get water out of a stream and you boil it it's not it's not purified okay because all that does is get rid of you know any organisms or or whatever you know that that might be in in the water that can cause giardia or you know things like that so let's unplug this but yeah this is essentially a uh, a water still really uh, maybe I'll make one sometime that'd be a fun video okay so we're gonna go in here on this <laughs> monkey was like wow that's really yellow I'm like it's old <laughs> you want to be yellow okay so now you can use any container you want under here just remember if you put a gallon in it um, you want to make sure it holds a gallon so we're going to do the same tests that we did on the other waters. I think our water was what, 173? Put this in here. We'll push hold.
and the water I don't know if you can see that the water from the drink the, from the the bottled water was 012 remember it was 012 and 013 look at that 012 okay so yeah it it purified it okay let me shut this off now we're going to check this of course this will i'm sure this will be perfectly blue okay 1001 perfect so it did purify that hard water that is pretty cool let's do that again just to make sure it wasn't a fluke let's turn it on we're going to put it in here it will read it immediately we're going to push hold zero one two so that's tap water from our tap which was 173 this is parts per million zero one two huh. amazing that is really cool guys now okay uh, I'm gonna taste this um, I didn't taste the water before out of the uh, tap I know what it tastes like it tastes fine I just want to see if this tastes like bottled water. So let's see. I'm just going to drink it right out of here. Tastes like bottled water. Cool. <laughs> so there it is. It works fine. And I'll be using that. Like I said, we've got hard water. But, you know, 173 right after a hurricanes nothing to sneeze at it's usually right about um, between 140 and 160 so 173 is not bad um, that just that tastes like bottled water if I put that in a bottle and put it in the fridge and let it get cold I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if I drank the regular bottled water or that which came out of the tap at 173 is now zero one two which is exactly what the water in the uh the bottled water that you pay for it was zero one two in fact the second time i believe it was a zero one three so that thing did awesome man uh yeah so very cool then you can just uh screw your lid on put it in the fridge and you got water that will hold a gallon like I said you can use any container you want you don't have to use that I mean it is yellow but it's not gonna hurt anything for this test but uh yeah I, I'm I'm impressed with that thing so that's pretty cool um, let me see what else can I tell you about that's that's about it I mean you know it took it took a little longer because I put, I actually put a, uh, another 16 ounces in it. So it was a quart and a half. So, you know, took about another half an hour longer. So that's pretty cool. And it does shut off. It, it notices inside. It notices when there's no more condensation and stuff. It knows when there's, it's out of water. It automatically shuts off. So that's. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Really amazing. And this thing is old. I, I don't know how old it would be. Um, I, I can check this real quick. But um, I don't know. I don't know how old it would be. Wait, is there a date on that? I'm looking at this thing here. I don't see a date. This was made in Japan, sold by Sears Roebuck and Company, Chicago, Illinois. It actually has a 1-800 number here you can get for uh, a free water test. 
so I'm not seeing any dates on here or copyrights or anything you would think there would be something on it for copyright but I'm not seeing anything but um but it is old you can tell by because the containers yellowed yeah this is a uh, this is pretty good yeah I'm not seeing a date just this was made in Japan and not China so that's pretty cool you know what maybe in the uh, maybe there'll be copyright on here in the instructions and I'm not seeing one it just says uh, Chicago Illinois Sears Roebuck and Company but usually they'll have a uh, has a full one year warranty on water purifier except carbon filters which those were those were the carbon filters those little things so um, yeah usually they have a copyright on the instructions somewhere that gives you an idea it doesn't give you the exact year but you know it'd be, it, it, it would be close how to order repair parts nobody does that anymore you don't you just throw it away and be done you know yeah I'm not seeing a copyright which you would think it's Kenmore something would have to be copyrighted but yeah I'm not seeing it but yeah it's it's cool either way man I love vintage stuff and especially when vintage stuff works so alright guys there you go another cool you know gives you a parts list here parts breakdown part numbers and see then you, you can buy parts for stuff then you can't now you 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 know, you buy something like that, it breaks. You, you, they don't want you to throw it away, buy a new one. It's exactly what they want you to do. You can buy carbon filters. You get a package of four. Filter housing, gasket, tank assembly, storage bottle, distiller cleaner. Owner's manual. You could actually have bought this owner's manual at the time. Cover assembly. And like I said, it tells you how to order parts, part number. There's a number down here that says 193. I don't know if that'd be a date. I don't know. But it's it's very cool. I like it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we're watching Christine right now. So um, I'm going back in finish watching that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Be safe.